Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. It's a freaking weekend, baby. <laughs> clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Loud and proud. Shout out to people going out to work this morning. Let me shout out the first three people that are here. Brighton Early, shout out Miss Goldie Robinson. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Jet Barr, big up yourself. Queenie Morris. Kimberly Marshall Cromer, thank you for being here. Christopher Vibes Rum, big up yourself. Up, up, up. Dainty D, good morning. Sophie B, thank you for being here. Richie Shiva, Mari Murray, thank you for being here. Yaris Bell Barber, thank you for being here. Dre Bell and Triple F, thank you for being here. That's F, F, F. TB Ford, Karen Ra Roberts, thank you for being here. I'll come back and thank the rest later. Uh, let's go right into the official morning thoughts introduction. So shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra, special, big up. Shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, my stay-at-home moms and pops, my retirees. Shout out to the drivers out there, the Uber driver, the Lyft driver, truck driver, taxi driver, food delivery driver, round town driver. Shout out to every medical personnel out there. You know, the CNA, the doctor, the nurses, all these things, the therapy staff, all those things. Shout out to good people. Shout out to every single clean-hearted, good-hearted person who wants good for others as much as you want good for yourself. You're a good person. Shout out to you. Good morning, and shout out to my brother, Troy Stars Trucking Vlogs on YouTube. Please go over to Troy's channel and hit that like and subscribe button and continue to support the brother, right? That's what we're all about. So let me call out a couple more names again, and then we are going to get into this morning, all right? Chantel Lee, Sarah um, Caliente, hot. Thank you for being here. Nikki True Print, thank you for being here. Good morning, SoFlo and family. God bless y'all and God bless you too, Nikki. Thank you, Polly Girl, for being here. Virtuous Fire says, good morning. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. It's the freaking weekend, baby. That might not mean anything to somebody who is going to have to be working through the weekend. <laughs> I feel your pain. I feel your pain, but there's a lot of people who are looking forward to the weekend, and it's here. So let's celebrate with those people, all right? Life with Leon, good morning. Big up yourself, my brother. Thank you for being here. Akima Evans, thank you. Dr. Rock, thank you. Organized Chaos, Kaz Robinson, Andrea Shivers, thank you. Oh, I always stutter on your name. Sheravess, thank you. Hot and Spicy, thank you for being here. Hot and Spicy says, good morning, SoFlo and family. UK is in the house. Shout out to our UK family. Shout out to our Canadian family. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Watch me. I put up a video yesterday, right? Um, uh, Queen Amaris says, laugh out, yes. Laugh out loud, yes. My, my pain. Weekend. I you have to work on the weekend. You're biased to your viewers. You only big up Jamaicans. That's a lie, Hassan. I always say we are one Caribbean people. And a lot of the times when I speak about Jamaica, I always say I don't speak on other Caribbean islands as far as getting into stories go because I've tried it before only to hear people from those Caribbean islands tell me that I'm not from there, so shut the f up. And it's because we Jamaicans are biased why I'm launching this kind of a thing against their uh, Caribbean island, etc. I promote nothing but unity, okay? One Caribbean island, one people. And I always say that. So big up the entire Caribbean islands. See that? We're one family. I don't only big up Jamaican people. You need to stop that. Anyhow, Put up a video yesterday. Um, the title of that video was My Wife is Badder Than Yours. Badder. B-A-D-D-E-R. Badder. It's the birthday edition. You know, wife had her birthday this year. I think it'll be an interesting video for you to go watch. The video was full of a lot of sexiness, but at the same time, it shows um, the different roles of a woman because the children are still around and then they're missing from scenes and they're still around. And I want you to understand when you watch that video, that video was done all with the children around the entire time. You probably won't be able to tell, but and they'll be dropping in and out of scenes. But go and go watch the video. Leave a like a happy birthday or a happy belated birthday to the wifey. I would appreciate it. 
because it makes my day go by much better. And these kind of things, you don't know what I'm asking. Um, I'm, I'm putting in my bids for later. That kind of something there. So go watch that video. All right. But but it does show the different dynamics of a woman. So women are feeling, you know, she have to raise the kids. Well, I'm raising the kids too, but she have to be more hands-on because she's mommy. And, you know, yeah, mommy, mommy, mommy at your feet. And if you can try to imagine doing all that, plus you're doing schoolwork, plus you're doing, hey, I got to go to tutoring. I got to do this. I got to do it. Plus being a woman and all that other stuff. It just It's, it's multi multi-dimensional a look into the multi-dimensional world of wifey and then think that's a big hour for me and let her know that your husband sent me over here hit that like button all right uh that's called my wife better than yours the video is up right now i put it up last night we premiered it and it's doing pretty well go over there and you know all right um nids this morning we're going to talk you notice i didn't start the morning off by giving you a list of what we're going to talk about I realize that when I do this, it quiets some people's anxieties. So let me do this. NIDS passes in Parliament. That's the new ID system in Jamaica. It passed in Parliament. We're going to talk about that briefly because I don't have all my information in front of me and I don't want to talk foolishness on something that is so important, even though I am pretty well read on that because I covered it in depth before. All right. And then the larger, bigger part of the show this morning, we don't have too many topics, is Richie Stevens. Richie Stevens get no no love. No love after those rape allegations from the, that person that is called General Ling. A Ling or Ming? Ling, Ming, Ping, Ching, a Ling. Ling, General Ling. Gets no love. And I'm going to pull up an article from Gleaner, and we're going to go through the comment section. Uh, I spoke about that when the allegations first came out i said brother man need to clear the air and if he doesn't clear the air this time i don't think sweeping stuff under the rug and staying quiet is going to work it's going to affect you big time everybody i says oh shut up talk, 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 talk. all right see me where they are coming to pass but we're gonna get into that let's start off talking about the nits so jamaica um was rolling out the, the government of jamaica was rolling out a new id system because right now they were saying that too many people are undocumented, as in them don't have no ID, no identification. Nobody knows who they are. Man changed address 50 times or changed address five years ago. No one knows where he lives. This kind of, for us on the outside looking in, we were thinking of safety. So we were saying, nah, everybody needs to have an ID. Every citizen and needs to have an ID. Every every resident, citizen, citizen needs to have an ID. It would make things much better. Along with that came um, other ways to make the place safer. How to find these cars. Jamaica have a long list of wanted men, you know. Um, and we were like, yes, we need the ID. We need the new ID. And then the guidelines for the new ID came out. And everybody was like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's too much. It's too invasive. They're not doing that in any of the first world countries to their citizens. Why are we picking this up and doing this? And we're talking about uh, scanning your eye. That's how the, I, the ID was it's supposed to be your retina, your palm print, your... Them, want, they, them didn't want everything. They wanted your... Retina, palm print, footprint, back print, front print, every print, and all kind of everything else, blood sample and bugle, um, bugle particles and matter particles. They wanted everything off the human body. And people were like, no, that's not right. This is not fair. We were ready to roll out with it, but nobody else is doing this. Well, I went and did my little research and I found out that the people who were behind the technology for it, China, <laughs> they are already doing it over there um, in a film country. And the whole palm print something, I learned that palm print is even more accurate than fingerprint and is just an advancement of technology kind of thing, which was scary to a lot of people. But some people were saying, listen, a lot of y'all want to go foreign, whether you want to go to England, Canada or wherever you are going to be subject to that anyways so stop with the foolishness and get it done jamaicans are like no because what about us that don't want to go nowhere we good here 
we have nice life here. We go to here, Power Island, and we don't want to be um, done like that. People are like, hey, deep vein scan. Yes, deep vein scan and all that. I didn't even know that a vein pattern, a vein pattern can tell. Yo, they wanted, they, I think they wanted to be able to gather enough data on each individual. And then the biggest part was what were they going to be doing with this? Where is this going to be stored? And does this not present some kind of a danger to the individuals whose stuff is taken if somebody else gets a hold of it? You know, like it, it, it's, it's deep. People are talking about genetic modification and um, people being able to make a replica of you pretty much in another part of the world and these kind of things. And it's scary in thought, in theory, it's scary. But Jamaicans were like, majority of them were like, we're not having this. And I believe also the People's National Party was against the JLP for that particular part. They pushed it until they got to that part where they were like, oh, wait, wait, listen, listen. This is too much. This is definitely infringing on the people's constitutional rights, right, to a certain level of privacy. Don't do it. They took it back to the drawing board, and now they're rolling out again. And guess what? They made the little tweaks, and now NIDS has passed in Parliament. Somebody said, so Flo, that need something there with the new idea. You know, they said, come out right before this war. Boom. Um, that's something that everybody I get joke for. Remember, I can't say the word. I don't want to say the word. But you know what I'm talking about. And they're supposed to work hand in hand, right? I might put you on these kind of things. I go go on and then I go round up the people and this, this, that. You know, conspiracy theories and some of that stuff be true sometimes. And all that kind of stuff I go on. So NITS has passed in Parliament. Parliament is not the last stop for it, though. It has one more stop to make, and then it will be official. I think it's ready, and I think they're going to launch it right now. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's a new ID system. Let me tell you something about Jamaica. Okay. People are more concerned about this. People who are law-abiding, tax-paying citizens and those who travel a lot, and go because you know every different country you go to especially when you are well traveled every different country you go to has their different how should i say it, their different regime that you have to go through in order to enter their country some country you go you just walk straight through you walk straight through because you're actually walking straight through stuff that is and you think man they don't even have no check or nothing i'm just going through grab my bag i'm gone this is nice no, you 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 were scanned. You were scanned head to toe. Up to now, your pupil root, as we say, that Jamaica, everything. They saw everything, right? And then some countries you go, it's a stop. Okay, next person search, stop. Put your hands up. That's America. Stop. Put your hands up. Turn around like this. Now walk through this thing. It's scanning everything. Your eyes looking inside of your body cavity and all that. See? So... These, these people are saying there's a, a larger population of these kind of people in Jamaica who are saying, listen, this is no more invasive than what I have encountered before. And we have nothing to fear if we have nothing to hide. So we want the place to be safer. Too much madman a run around from Yasa to Dessa. And one day he is John Tom from Clarendon. And next week he is Kevin Jones from Olaba. And next week he is... Richard Johnson from Moby, and next week here, and we can't have that. We need to have each citizen. It's very hard for me in the U.S. to get an official ID that is a knockoff, a fake ID, something we can pass law enforcement with. It's not going to work. Why? Because they have a system in place where once they ask you for your ID and they run that ID, it's going to come back as it don't register to nobody. It's a fake ID. Or it's going to come back as it registered to somebody else because you're using somebody else's identity. You don't look like this person and this kind of stuff. They don't have that in place in Jamaica. You understand? So, you know, like when you get pulled over in the U.S. and the police goes, driver license registration, please. You hand your driver license registration to them. It's called a national database. You hand your driver license registration to them. 
DNA database. When the police say, okay, hand type, I'm gonna go uh, run your stuff in the car and I'll be back. When they put that stuff into that machine that's in that vehicle, your thing is ran through all database in all 50 states. That's why you see on the news, he fugitive was picked up today in New York City, um, so and so and so. He was wanted in Florida two years ago for the murder of blah, blah, blah. Them catch him way in New York, driving around or in a car that they decided, hmm, let's check all the occupants of this vehicle kind of thing. So that's a system that people are saying, listen, implement it in Jamaica, man. Implement it in Jamaica and let's move forward. It will stop a lot of people from being able to evade or be so evasive, right? In other words, we could put a thumb on the criminal elements in the system. The back draw is, them are going to look up in your poopoo -poo root. <laughs> They're going to know everything about you, okay? Every single thing about you. But... I mean, we're over a thousand murders for the year already, and half of them, the murderers, were not caught. Think about that. We are over a thousand and thirty something, forty something murders already for this year, and half of those murderers who committed those murders have not been caught. So, what does that tell you? So we have people out there who commit murders and they commit murders repeatedly and they're able to beat the system and get around the system and live amongst us like normal people. That's a disaster. That is more murders waiting to happen. One plus one is two. Him kill already. He feels emboldened. He's going to kill again. Kill again. Him feel even more emboldened. Wait, nobody now catch him. him kill again. So we can't have it both ways. And that's the world that we live in. We cannot have it both ways. And this is not just for Jamaica. This is for everywhere. Globally, this is what the world has become. This is where they're heading with this. The new technology stuff is going to be scary to a lot of people, confusing to a lot of people. I equate it to, like I said before, my granny gets in a smartphone. You know, granny, she used to our flip phone. Rest in peace, granny. She used to our flip phone. So she just flip out her phone and she said, all of the number them and she just dial who she want to dial. Not true? That gone. She opened a smartphone now. She said, one million things on the smartphone screen. She confused. That's where the world is heading. Technology is advancing and we need to keep up with technology in order to survive in the new world. That's it. In my cup this morning, because I mean, we wake up kind of late, you know. I mean, I have to make a little tea, so. Let just slice up two lemon and put it in some water. Mm -hmm. So, lemon in my water this morning. All right. Uh, Carolyn Scott says, wow, that's scary. Over a thousand murders in the little island of Jamaica. Yes, yes. And, and when I say the number, people kind of like, and just look away like it's not mind-boggling. And I hear people telling me about, hey, man, shut up and talk about what's happening in America. You know, see, New York is under siege. Look how many murders committed for the year so far in New York and this and that. How many teens are dying? 16? Well, 37? I got to the call. Oh, there's no, this is a catastrophe. The shit has hit the fan and with 37 murders. Listen, if we did have 37 murders in Jamaica for the year, you see, the amount of people, where would I fly eat? People would be taking trips for no reason. Corona, yes. Okay, I don't mean, care about that. But God, anyway, people would be taking trips for no reason. There's a lot. Listen to me. There are a lot of Jamaicans overseas that are absolutely afraid of going back to the country. Me and you go back, for those of us who do go back, we go back, but there are, there's a Good-sized population that are absolutely terrified to go back to the island. This is not made up. This is factual. You see them online all the time. You hear them talk all the time. And it's not okay to just, just say, well, you stay with them. You stay far and then I'm going like you stay up then while tourists come out and enjoy. The difference is tourists has a date to leave. These people are expatriates that want to come home. 
the same reason they a lot of them ran away for because economy did unstable gunman did around the place all this the same reasons they ran away for in the 80s and the 90s and now they want to come back because you know they've made something of themselves whatever and it's time to retire things must have changed things not change a lot and things got wasara yeah we have that word in jamaica we call it wasara that's when it gets worse and it passed worse it got wasara are the worst test then wasara and that's over there so people are genuinely afraid genuinely afraid so all this net stuff that I, I i don't have a problem with it i don't have a problem with it men of a one the people them um, with the deep vein scan and all these other things but when i look at if they could just establish that dna database and then implement all the other things that we have suggested as far as solving these murders goes like jamaica needs a whole lot of cameras a whole i i, and I for the life of me i still cannot understand why because that's a simple solution forget the dna database establishment and everybody on the same page in all the parishes and you know every parish link up imagine having that database where you could put the id in it and boom you know matter where on the island he is at you know right away who this is where he's from where he live all these things even your next of kin shows up no if they could establish that i mean bar that for a second and just think just cameras just simple cameras we live in a world right now where a camera it can be put in a button on a shirt i keep saying this and that camera is powerful enough to pick up in hd 1080 hd a wide angle of a room so why we can't put cameras everywhere you know shout out to the people who say stop talk foolishness stuff but i'm gonna go shoot them out like all them shoot out the light bulb them and these things you can put cameras where nobody sees them except for the people who are monitoring them and that in itself let me repeat that that in itself could be a whole job a whole career what do you do for a living i monitor cameras that keep the country safe that's it those cameras are manned 24 7 at a central monitoring point this is how they do in the uk i watch the whole thing it is on somewhere upon tv they live in a fish bowl a glass bowl man can say uh, you're watching the camera tonight and it's in a safe place and the camera and everywhere has a street that has a name so we don't have no lean and hook and look and nook and cranny every has a name so you're going to name these streets that way when he's on the camera he can say and in london they don't even know man took out him knife or him a fiddle with him knife and he is looking around i see the man in the central monitoring point call police on the beat right and they're like a couple streets over and he's like hey um could you get over the princess street as quickly as you can there's a guy over there he looks about six feet tall and he has something in his waistband that looks like a knife he's been standing there for a while but he looks pretty suspicious as if he's about to do something he's casing the place and then they're on their way and while they're on their way you're monitoring them on the camera and he's giving a clear description of who this person is he has on some white nikes with a green nike check on it has on a red hat and a black jacket and black pants blah 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 and they're coming and they're coming in silence and by the time he's about to do what he's about to do i saw one where the guy was standing on the corner and he was actually selling drugs little baggies of drugs he bagged up and people were passing and he would make it look like he was just giving them a high five or something. And they sat there and watched them and they counted and they followed him and they followed the people who he was selling, serving. That's a full case. That's a full case with irrefutable evidence. Nobody can argue with you after that. No, it's a good boy. My Johnny can't be my Johnny. You could have never tell me that. All right, Miss Matty, see the video there. See it there. Now, Johnny, that. You see him? You see how Johnny pull out the gun and shoot the boy? Watch how Johnny jump on the bike right there up on Princess Street. See, they made a left down Markman Alley. They turn right over there on Simpson Lane. They're... It's too easy to do all that. So, we're going to have to give up some privacy. I mean, I'm not bad. Them know everything about me. All righty.
that's a 100 percent i'm doing surveillance like this already they're using the money for their own benefit so flow good morning to you and your family coming out of london bless up and keep up the good work earl scott big up yourself and thank you and bless up fam all right so yes they need that the whole need system we want to fight it i go fight it but it's the way of the world it's the way of the world you know we who are getting we are getting old enough where as i watch my kids i know i'm getting old because they're growing too fast anyways we wish things would be like it was back then remember when you used to walk down the road and you could have just pull out a quarter out of your hand drop it into the phone and talk then you leave that phone you don't have to carry the phone with you Nobody could say, oh, you made that call from your personal phone. For those of us who drug dealers used to be on the block, take the phone for their own phone. And other people, when you call, not even drug dealers, regular people. Like when you call in from Jamaica, the phone on the block, this, say that's this like New York. You have be like, you call the phone. A pay phone, you know, with the Miglai block. You call the phone. And anybody on the block pick the phone up. Yo, what up? Hey. Jim, Jim, did it. Jim, Jim. Hey, hold on. Jim, Jim, sports call for you. You run down from your apartment, come get the phone, a public phone on the block. That not going again. We wish all those things could have been like stay around, but that's how it goes. The world will advance. Technology, techno technologically, the world will advance. So will medicine, so will everything else. And we just hope they work in our favor. This Richard Stevens, something you do, what me really want to talk about. All right, I'm just letting y'all know that NIDS got passed in Parliament and it's coming. They're going to roll it out. The P, the Prime Minister, right, Honorable Andrew Holness, has said, y'all need to go look into the updated information. I'm kind of done talking about the joke because they've restricted it so much that you feel uncomfortable having a conversation about the joke. So, it, I prefer just not to speak about it anymore, but I so want to keep you up to date with what is going on. Something I go on down there where them say once them reach half of the um, population, then they'll start making uh, arrangements for the people who have it to kind of move forward into the future and get back to face-to-face -face business and all that, which leaves us to wonder what will happen to those who don't have the joke? There was a particular statement where the PM said, um, uno, uno have the joke. You are going to your own in a minute. I found that to be very threatening. You're telling citizens, uno, uno have the joke. You're going to be on your own in a minute. But he also said that making everybody get it, you know, the, the, the man word there, we, and we have date upon it, making everybody get it is not on his agenda and it won't happen on his watch. Wait and see. All right, so we're, we're going to leave that one right there. I hate talking about it now, and that's that. So, Richie Stevens, just Christ. Mm. I said this when the story broke, and we watched this lady's um, allegations. Okay, my block side. When I know some sit down here, we know. In my drawers. I normally put my pants on. I really didn't, didn't put no pants on. Anyhow, weird. You know you're getting older. You start forgetting to put pants on. I don't know. That's not right. I look at me never end up outside. See me at the grocery store. Hi, so flow, I go on. All right. So flow, I pants them, I pants them there. Yeah, why, why, uh, what I have on them, Mr. So flow, because you know, some on the forward, <laughs> and I love it. That's why Caribbean people. <laughs> I want to have on them, Mr. So flow. Yo, Mr. Mr. So flow for Walmart, the other day in Miami, the brother of our top will look like one pants him. No, you know, and of course, somebody will be like, Yeah, mom, you know, so them man, they got them with a long time. You know, you're on talk, but I don't have a problem with because I'm in a item fishy. And that, <laughs> you gotta be able to laugh. <laughs> my love not anywhere. My love not anywhere. Can't we got three people. See? I'm not too bad. All right. So, Richard Stevens with this damn allegation. I hate to see. Uh, I hate to see the fall. I hate to see the bring down. I hate to see the. But sometimes you bring down yourself. 
you know. You see that we hear a brother, side note, you see that we hear a brother say, you don't know one to Miss Joyce and um, something, something, and the brother said, Miss Joyce, Miss Joyce, who? He said, yeah, the one, the one, yeah, the one we have a little cook shop, they're, they're on Facebook, the one we have a little cook shop, um, kitchen, not Facebook, they're on Instagram. The kitchen, yeah, the one where the door, the door name to open right and he swing off and sit. Yeah, I want to share. She dead? No, I know she dead, you know. So I want to her. Miss said she had body come down in him and in up all the hospital and then sitting there. Uh, body come down. When last you hear nobody say, <laughs> when last you hear nobody say body come down? It body come down first of all is like really, really country or really, really. <laughs> but it means say uh, your structure mash up, brethren. Your body come down, your body come down, body mash up, you're deteriorated, and she deteriorated rapidly. And we said, body come down, you know, you know, body come down, you know, see, it mash up, God. Mm -hmm. Miss Joan take sick, body come down, yeah, end up all the hospital and them something there. Gotta love my people. Gotta, <laughs> and why should I try to ever hide that part of us? Oh, no, I don't speak like that. And I hate people that speak like that. It makes us look so bad. You know, like, why should I ever join that to Bomba Club? Anyhow, let's get on with this Richie Stevens thing. Got me a sidetrack now. So, as we all know, Richie Stevens was uh, accused, serious accusation. The Chinese woman says she was on tour. Y'all watch the video. In Wallar, don't take it, this, that, and the other. We found out through the Australian authorities publishing their own information on the case that that rape kit in that event was not analyzed and it was not analyzed because Richie admitted to them that he did have intercourse with the female so they said well at this point it can't prove who wrong who right who was their consent all it proves is that there was intercourse however Richie has never said to the Jamaican population that yes I did say I had him said nothing happened Tanya Stevens has joined forces with that same woman. And you know, Tanya came out and said she herself was R-A-P-E-D. Somebody says, oh, Flo, I wonder if I reach it. Do Tanya see it? May not try to start nothing, but she quickly joined forces with that lady. Now, that's interesting to see because you would think that Tanya would be like, you know, from her fellow artists slash uh, countrymen in the same profession, same thing, them tour world and the music and her, she, she joined forces with that, that woman there, which is quite telling to me. Now, Richard never done nothing better than do this people, which I, I don't, Gleena, shout out to the Gleena. I probably, that's why I don't answer me when, me, <laughs> when I'll be trying to reach out for to print some publication and thing because I'm telling you when you don't do foolishness. So, but it's your job. Okay. So here's Richie. He's on the front of the gleaner, right? In the same week that this accusation comes out, at the end of the week, you end up on front page of gleaner with this. You are mummy. And the headline is Richie Stevens reveals in mother's singing, Richie Stevens revels in mother's singing success. People, I, mean, I know if I'm going to see the article or see of the article, but I did. I did, and I did because I started looking in the comment section. I thought this was really bad timing to release something like this. You know, mother, female, next female is accusing you of this. You kind of seem cringy like you're over here trying to say, put mommy out front and let them know that you are you love women. You love women so much that even at your age, at 50-something, you're like a mama's boy. You know, I don't know about any story of any children that Richie has. I don't know of any story of any wife that Richie has. You know, maybe he likes being single and able to play the field all the days of his life. Me no know. My uncle always said something wrong with man where reach certain age, I know I know pick me. And it never wrong yet. And he wasn't wrong on that, but I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. Maybe you can't have none, whatever. I'm not ridiculing, I'm just saying it was kind of cringy, but I thought I was the only one thinking it, so I wasn't gonna say nothing. 
So I leave my comment over the past star and I say on behalf of the comments monitoring committee, of which I am an honorary member, I am here simply to observe comments. Carry on. <laughs> See, I go back and say some other things, you know, because I couldn't help myself. I went back and I said, so, from my understanding, Richie admitted to the Australian police that he did have intercourse with the woman, and according to them, that is why the rape kit she did was not, I repeat, was not analyzed. Big up to mama for scoring her big number one hit. But in my humble opinion, brother man, you need to clear the air so there is no doubt left before moving on to other projects. Right now, people have said this look like damage control and manipulating the narrative, etc. It look risky. Tell me if it makes sense. And a whole bunch of people is telling me that I made sense, 27 of them. See? So public relation damage control is what one person said. I'm going to run through the comments for you because I don't think there is one comment over here. The comment section long, the comment section long, the comment section long, it long, and I don't think there's one comment over here that stands in solidarity with him, which is something that you never really see. You would normally see people say stuff like, may I stand by Richie till me hear the truth? They're always trying to tear our people down. Blah, blah, blah. You know how people say anything and everything when they really like somebody? Well, mm -mm. not too much support is here for him. No love is here for him. The first one says public relations damage, damage control is what that is. And 204 people like that thumbs up, it, thumbs up it. The second one, Ms. Monroe says so. Gleaner is just going to be a willing participant in this PR campaign, this public relations campaign. This is exactly what Tanya Stevens was talking about. Call them name and revive them dead career. 100 and odd people thumbs up that. Red One says, boy, these comments are about to be on fire, which I thought it was as well. There is no love here. Constable Bulldog says, yes, Gleena, with the damage control, Jamaica mainstream media is a joke. The next person says, here's the PR machinery. Another one says, this only I make you look guilty, my boss. The next one says, I think you do too much, you know, Richie. You start to look guilty with laughing, crying emojis. And I wish somebody had talked. I mean, I don't know who who is his or if he has one. Maybe he's been managing himself for years as far, and I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. He's too successful. Usually, you can manage yourself to a certain degree, but then you have to sign on to somebody. You know, you hit a glass ceiling, so you have to sign on to somebody who can break through that glass ceiling here. Yeah, man, me have links that can get you into Japan and get you into this place and you know asia this that that and the other where well, you couldn't do it before on your own so you have to sign up i doubt that richie must have a pr team or a pr person he must and if he did then that person needs to be fired seriously and if they're not supposed to be fired it's probably only because he override or overrode their decision and said, no, I'm putting it, I want it put out anyways. Because, you know, sometimes PR really tell the artists themselves, listen, we need to lay low right now. We need to chill out right now. And he's like, no, I'm going to thing with my mother for go up. And they're like, no, bad decision. Bad, I'm telling you. And he's like, no, nah, me say good night. Come, put it up. You know, I'm about to be guilty. And then, boom, a backlash like this. And the PR is in a corner like, I, I told you. I told you. And guess what? They throw it right back in the PR lap. So uh, the PR officer lap, our PR personnel, per whatever, them them lap. Like, no, you fix it. No, me fix it. I told you just went out there and created more heat. I told y'all before that Me Too is something that's very serious. Me Too is now a silent movement that is deadly. They make too much noise. See? They circle and touch down. And when they touch, you could feel, you could feel when they're coming for somebody. You could feel when they're moving towards somebody. And I said it before, I said, Richard, don't want that because, you know, when your bookings dry up, when people start looking at you different, even those people you've worked with before, 
who are going to say, man, I would really, really, really love to book you for this festival. You know, we have a five date planned coming up. It'll be Belgium, um, Amsterdam, uh, London, Paris, blah, blah, blah. I would really love to have you on that circuit, but we can't put you, we can't because we don't want these people coming out with their picket stuff and all this and, you know, damaging our thing. And we, it's not that we believe you're guilty, but, and then your food start to dry up. Your credibility looks shaky, Ota Road. They're, they're starting to demonize you now and your food dry up. And the worst part that, see? So nobody has to find you guilty in a court of law and take away your earnings or take away your travel papers and all that. No, you can still have all your travel papers. You can still be free. Can't go to prison because it happened and it's gone. But guess what? You're grounded. Nobody is booking you. People are afraid to work with you. I know a good singer who would sing the hell out of this song. Let's call him. Who is it? Richie Steele. Nah, nah. Don't you can't can't put him on our project. Why? Bro, you didn't hear? Let me pull the video up real quick and show you. Let look. And then I'm gonna pull up General Ling picture our video and they're gonna watch oh my god no we don't want that people are very protective of their brand and when that movement comes and that movement says take him off of the stage that's exactly what they do y'all know that not only them it's two movements out here that you don't want to get entangled with because more than likely it's going to be an issue and that's the rainbow people and then the me too people you know want it general link that's her name on on youtube that's her name me feel the wave coming omega brown in need for prance or children if no wife <laughs> boy that not gonna save him now that's not gonna save him now yo yo p good morning and thank you for being here yo yo p says i finally caught a live it's a freaking weekend, baby, and here we are just chatting up the things, you know what I mean? So, the brother Richie, I told him, man, I said it, I, but you true, me, I just little old me, nobody now listen to me, I wish I could actually, I wish some of them would be like, so what do you think, if you do? Because I see these situations, and I can see it coming, and I've never been wrong yet. Anytime I said, look, this I go happen, you see, boom, down the road. How didn't y'all see this coming? The comments continue. Comments continue. Here comes the judges of social media. Okay. Stevie says, why, Richie, anything you say or do from here on will be heavily scrutinized. It's sad though. But that's just the way it is when you are accused of something like that. You were one of my favorite singers. Uh, still is. So I'm like him up on the line. Toya Diamond says, Richie, why are you trying to manipulate us? I don't like it. See, comment down there. If I don't think I like me, I tell I'm reading through the comment section to show you that there is real people with them, real picture and all these things. Did I left them comments to show you that there is no love. He's not getting no love out here. And this is me too coming for you. No love out here. This is me too coming for you. I want me to say, hey, hmm. We stand with this woman. Your goose cook. Your goose cook. Because they will make sure that you can't book them shows. Your goose is cook. Speaking of that, I remember one particular artist. I think he's tired of his name being called up this week. Um, and me not going to call him name no more for the week. I think I wore it out this week already. But I remember that particular audience, uh, that particular artist, at times said certain things about certain people innocently and couldn't sing that song there no more and i remember specifically people gathered with big old placards not the cardboard with them right up with the coal palette at jamaica you can barely read it and them said them a protest they had they were organized big old placard you could really really read it okay and that is what that is what he would go to every time them book him and then ready for go ashore and up on stage. He ran into a big crowd at the venue like that. 
holding those cards, saying that till promoters started saying, we would love to, brother man, but we can't, you know, we can't because, and then it took off like wildfire into the media. Remember, and then them start asking for apology and who apologized got to fly and who didn't apologize had to sit and these kind of things. Well, some people papers did good already. So them couldn't take for them papers based on that. But when you see how the thing went around like that. So Richie better know that this is real. He better know that this is real. Who did remember when Tanya said that the man were rapper, her career dead? So she now, the man were rapper, her career is dead. So she now call it, forgive him, back or forward. Tanya Stevens said the man a rep our film career then. So she now call it for game back forward. You put your mom on the front page and somebody leave a comment like this. Let me see if I can see. See that? LOL. Dead with laugh. Laughing my ass off. This is funny AF. This is funny as. That's, that's a response to your mom scoring a number one hit. No love there for you no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? LOL. Dead with laugh. Laugh out loud. Dead with laugh. Laugh my ass off. This is funny as... Clearly, they think you're trying to manipulate the situation. You're doing some damage control. Another person says, why if sweeping things under the rug was a person... The next person said, child, while Kim says, the boy I take with a fool. And the, I'm just reading the comments. I'm going comment by commenting. I mean, I'll skip over none. If me find a good one, me tell you the good one. Me can't find no good one. <laughs> uh, um, Martha Hotmail Co. UK says, I have one question to ask. If so much people know about what Richie Stevens has done, why all of you just talking about it? Why didn't you all report him and did you all take a part of it? How come so much evidence of witnesses and no action is taken against this man? Another person right behind that says, hmm, they always take the man's side. Sunday something says, kiss me teeth. You and your mama figure sit down. Swear to God, you and your mama figure sit down. Your mommy didn't deserve all this. Mommy, did you, you, mommy, do you have our num mommy get her number one hit at what 79, almost 80 years old? She ain't deserve all this. You shouldn't have dragged her out right now. You could have saved this for later. This did nothing to help her. I know people are gonna tune out our song because of you. Hi, Papa. My son is up. Uh well, give me a second. Let me let me go grab his juice so the know Kai go already for those of you who tune in on a regular basis. But me in on my underwear, so I can't get up. That's slide the chair over here. So. Like that, then go off screen. If you see one back jar, don't say nothing. Come up. Almost finished, okay? You want tomatoes, lettuce? You wake up and ask for a salad in the morning? Give me a few minutes and I'll be done. Hello, you? I'm going to put on a pants, though. I don't want nobody to say, So, Flo, like a ding a ling, drop out pants. Morning talk. I mean, can't edit it because it was alive. That actually happened. To, <laughs> that actually happened to a rapper, Kodak Black. Kodak Black was going live and he was in the shower. Side side for a minute. Kodak was going live and he was in the shower. See me? I guess he was appealing to his female fans. I don't know, but the camera dropped upon the live. Whoosh! Boom! Hit the bottom. <laughs> In the bottom of the shower, and while like a something poke out top, and they were dying with laugh. The man said it was cold in the shower. They're like, nah, bro. 
even if it's cold in the shower. I don't know what you're working with, but <laughs> it look like a boom boom. It don't look like you have one of those things. So that's how the ESPN analysts work. Is <laughs> in blazers and underwear. You just get dressed from the from the waist up, kind of thing. Yeah, but more than one, my camera drop and I'm exposed. I'll be a laughing with a go. Be excitement. If you catch me on a good day, it'll be a different story. But be a laughing and excitement with a go. You know, when the room cooler, you know, when you're just not in that kind of a crazy. And you know, I'm not explain nothing. Let's get back to this thing. Yeah. Persons do not want to hear or see that, sir. Ask him how many women he has raped. This is the next comment. Persons, you put up your mother. <laughs> you put up your mummy. And people said, persons do not want to hear or see that, sir. How many women have you raped? That's what we want to talk about. His mommy, your mommy ain't deserve this, Richie. Richie. Mr. Stevens. Your mama didn't deserve this, bro. She didn't. Because they're just tearing her up right now. Yeah? I mean, no, I mean, no that you thought it was good to bring her out right now to, you know, to make everybody say, say, you're a loving man towards women and you care about your mom so much. You don't even tell people something that matter like SoFlo because you, you you care for everybody's mom. You're, you're a woman lover. You're not a hurter of women. You're not a hurter of women. You're a woman lover. Yeah, I mean, you know the kind of thing I try to paint, but it's hurting your mom. It's hurting your mom. Uh, yeah, the comment them long. Why not just give mama her own spotlight, Richie? Why this? Jesus, peace. And it goes on and on and on. Okay, wow, finally. Congratulations. One. That's it. After that, keep trying. Next person said, mm-hmm, question mark, question mark. And next one says, meanwhile. And the other one said, okay, here's another good one. This is powerful. Thanks so much, Richie Stevens, to share Mama Carmen with us and the word. This song is amazing. Here for the comments. Somebody say, yeah, all right, change the topic now. You put up your mother and them say, yeah, all right, change the topic now. Somebody else said, me never ready. Dead with laugh. Next person said, these comments. So tell me about the call you got from your mom now. We'll make your ox link for your hug. Me bum buckler. You see how Jamaican people say? So tell me about the call where you get from your mom now. Make your ox link for your hug. Remember the girl detailed the story and she said they were out there in Yonderlands on tour and, you know, everybody lonely and away from home and all these things. And Richie had gotten a call and she said, oh, he got the call. He answered the call and he was very upset after the call. He was talking to his mother and he got off the phone very upset, visibly upset. Something was not right with his mother. And then he asked for a hug. Well, Jamaican people said, we don't want to see mommy right now. I hear about no number one, nothing. We want to hear about the call. When mommy did set you up on the phone about the call, we make you come off of the phone and go ask the girl for a hug. Because that hug they led to other things according to what she said. It went from hug to pin down to pin down to techie. So in the middle of your distraughtness, little head still... Did I think? Or maybe not go so. Why? Listen up. <laughs> Listen up. I think he was talking to someone else about his mom. Well, she wouldn't know. It was either about his mom or to his mom. About his mom. It had something to do with mom. But you know, Jamaican people stay already. We are going to say, Stuff like that. We don't want to hear about this right now, Richie. We don't want to hear about no single. We want to hear about what is going on over there. Where you say? The Australian police say, you tell them, say, you do it. Uno did roko roko. The Australian police said, you said to them, 
that you get peace. Peace at the party put. You never explain to them, say. But you come back, come tell we say nothing happened and the case is closed. Remember, I know. I him tell we say nothing happened. And then the day after him tell we say nothing happened, them tell we say, him tell them say something happened. It didn't happen the other way around. <laughs> ha! It happened to discredit what he said to us. Jesus Christ. Trouble not set like rain. Mm. I don't know. But honestly, I feel like. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like I'm not here to uh, listen. I will inject humor into any situation. That's just me. What am I going to cry about it? I know. I know me. I know. <laughs> I know. Me can't cry about it. I will inject humor into any situation, even when it's serious. But there, there is a part that me I say, speak up. All of them, umanya. I said. I was beaten by this person. This I wanna hold me down. This I wanna kiss me in my mouth when me never expected. This I wanna do this. This I wanna do that. None of them are called name. You know, see that? None of them are calling names. This woman gave your name, your description, your address, your location, everything. You're the only one that's been called out. I think you need to say more than what you've said. At this point, this ain't the budget situation where his daughter is still missing and the lawyer said, just don't say anything. She already went out to the public. She already talked to them and called him on him. She already went out to the public. She already released pictures, everything. By the way, um, she has taken everything down and she still has not showed up and they are demanding now that she show herself. She released a statement yesterday through her attorney, through an attorney allegedly saying that once she feels safe, she'll show herself to the police. She'll go check in with the police once she feels safe. So that's where that is at. But you are on something totally different, my brother. At this point, you need an attorney to sit down beside you or to coach you through and then let you do a public I know, I know ego gets in the way, and I know people start thinking like, oh, me a big star, me not owe them people and nothing. Not owe them no explanation. You don't owe them no explanation, but guess what? You're a public figure. Once you're a public figure, that means that the public made you, and the public pays you. So when the public that decides said to unmake you and stop pay you, y'all gonna have problems, right? So you, you got to come out. You got to sit down. You got to talk. Talk to that attorney behind the scenes. Lay out what the hell it is you're going to say to the public. Make your attorney be smart about it. I said, no, Richard, don't say that. Say this this way. I swear I could I should have went into that field. I swear. Because he wouldn't have been that quiet that long for me. Wait. Not with that. Listen, these are serious accusations. We're not playing around with this. This is not a joke to us. I saw me with up. I would have coached my client. I may not be a wicked lawyer, know, because sometimes you have to defend people who you know did it. But you got to get that check. And then you got to get that other check on your resume. As how many people have you represented in court? 100. Okay, how many of those cases have you lost? One. Damn, so you 99 running out of 100? Ooh, that's a top attorney. That kind of stuff. Them chess, them kind of thing there, you know. Accolades for their career, boosters and all these things. But I would have coached my client. I would have coached them to say, listen, no, I need you to be like, this is a movie scene. Like, you know, go someplace deep in your mind where tears can come from. Like, you remember that one time your granny fling a Dutch pattern and bust the back of your head and in that bar, go this up. Go somewhere which far things were painful and get into that space now i need you to start out revved up and as you go along but i don't need you to show any signs of anger because you're not an angry person i just need you to show deep concern for the situation so don't bother go like 
You know what I mean? I say I need because people are gonna say, like, look, look how aggressive he is. Yeah, man, you probably hold another girl and take it. So I, and you're a big guy. So I need you to be more like this is listen, we're taking this, these are serious accusations, and we're taking we're not taking this lightly. This is not off me. I am not this type of a person. I unequivocally deny every single part of this. Oh no, I forgot talk. You need a good attorney. Walk you through this. Come out and kill it out. You know why people are still talking? People are still talking because the way how she detailed the story, start to finish. The way how she detailed the story, and then you come out and said some of the things she said was true. What? Some of the things she said was true. Brother, which part I did true? And which part wasn't true? Because she said a whole lot. You know? She said a whole lot. You need to give out food. <laughs> you need to give out food. Bugs in J.A. in the road. Nobody now listen to that. Nobody. I, I, well, you know what's true? Because that's what politicians do. When the politician them frig up them constituency, them come around every every four years. That road there, when them walk on and them new clocks, them now sit at the road there again. Even when time their vehicle is being escorted through those areas, they're let me not back. I talk about couldn't you Jesus Christ, man? Couldn't you find somewhere else to drive? I mean, this road is terrible. It's making me sip my champagne in here. I'm I'm hurting on this road. Um, but sir, this is your constituency. I four years now, if you fix it, I don't fix nothing. Look, the front end I car up front, dropping I patrol, and then I forgot car wreck. I forget it all. I saw it serious around here. Um, let's cancel this meeting and go somewhere else, please. I can't, I can't, I can't bother with this kind of thing, man. And then when election time come, out come the bags. Go to my grocery store, go pick up two pound of rice to put in a each bag with two thin of mackerel and something. And, and kill, tell mass the, the local farmer down there. How much people are coming? Estimate. Estimate about um estimate about a thousand, two thousand. All right, we're gonna kill six goats and we're gonna carry the goats. But sir, six goats can share for two thousand people. Yes, man, to share, make it share. Um just feed the first set of people and that come in, and the rest of them, you know, they will feel like say people took plates and went home and these things. Trick we right through. Trick we right through. And then give out bags and it worked on. Vote for me again. And then we sit on there like this. And be like, blows a skirt. Me 40 years old now. The road I mash up from me from me barn. My member dropped down in a patrol and myself. Me couldn't drive them time there. I was six. My mother lost me in one of them patrol there before. And me a party now on the road still look. You see, it look even wasara. Wasara. We reach through the road. Uh, hold on there. I see a person still in a power. No man, this can't right. Same way. What has he been doing to maintain power? Giving out bags of grocery, two pound of rice, two tin of mackerel, one bully beef in there. And <laughs> so maybe Richie do need to come out and give out some bags. Put on his mask and go out there and help some of the hurting people whose finances has been affected by this corona thing. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I, may I tell you, you know, I can be on both sides of the fence and I'm telling you that if I get on the other side there, it's gonna be problems. It's going to be problems. But it's serious. It's serious. Carolyn Scott, 100. Not true? It's serious. Somebody needs to advise our brother to speak. Not Mr. Buju can't stay silent for now. You need to speak. Buju thing, I call your name. If Fim Data is not found or shows herself up to the police in the next. A five days gone already. Them can't find her. Okay? If two more days go make one week, them can't find her. Then somebody need to say something. You can't just come out. Oh, they're trying to kill me. Whoops, I'm disappeared. And one missing list. And people are sending out notes and letters through lawyers. She's somewhere safe. She'll come out when she feel better. Or when she feels safe. The police want to see you, my girl. Just for making it look like say, your, your, your father does show it. That, that, that's how people I think right now. 
That's why a smart attorney would say, would you don't say anything? Let this thing play out as it's playing out. If you can fix things behind the scene, then go ahead and do so. Papa, you okay? Then go ahead and do so. But at this very moment, don't say anything. But Richard thing, run, gone, way past, don't say anything. Knows the time he needs to say something. Say something. She's lying. That's not how it happened. I'm going to tell you the truth. We had sexual relations. She had a man. If I did me, if I did me, I ain't attorney. Listen, a long time show on me. Me not a lie. And I'm not saying that to be all oh, vagadocious or anything or vindictive towards her. I knew she was married. She knew she married. I fear her marriage. But she kept giving me signals. I didn't hold on and take nothing. Matter of fact, she stayed back that day when her friend asked her. She stayed back because she wanted to be alone with me. And we ended up doing the do. We did the thing. And now later on, I'm hearing that I committed a rape because her husband found out that she was, uh, you know, body language don't lie. And I guess he's a good reader of body language. And she felt guilty after doing what we did. So they've been married for 14 years. She felt guilty. So the only other way is to cry and call rape. But here's the thing. You're throwing me under the bus at, the, at that expense, trying to save your marriage. Because you can't look at your husband and say, I was unfaithful this one time. You know? That kind of stuff. Come out and say something, man. I said something like that. But the, <laughs> the case is closed. It's over. The case is closed and the rape kit was not analyzed. You shouldn't even mention the case. You should have not even mentioned the case. Because as soon as you mention the case, the Australian authorities just fling out for them something, stuff. You see, D. Davis, may I try to show them a sir? D. Davis says, watching from work, family. Ah, oh, Patrick. Paulette Ricketts says, watching from Paulette. Be careful, you know. Be careful, you depend on people and work. Yeah, you know how we do. <laughs> All right, big up yourself here. Yeah? All right. You taking up for Richie Soflo? No, I'm not taking up for him. I'm just saying. And I've said. If you watch my other video, you will know. I'm not switch my talk. I'm not taking up for nobody. I, if anything, if you're reading correctly into what I am saying, I am trying to let it be known that there are a lot of people that are not taking up for him this time, including me. I'm not taking up for nobody. I told you if my daughter, I approach these things as if I'm my daughter. So if my daughter come and told me that story, I'm not going to immediately be like, ah, oh, she lied. I'm going to have beef with it, you know? And I look at it like that. Until he comes out and says something different, I'm riding with her. No qualms. So, no, I'm not taking up. But I'm telling you how he can save himself, though. See, the way all me talk things, and I, like I say, I go into everybody's position. I'm talk, I could talk from her perspective, then I could talk from his perspective, right? Some people who don't listen or they only catch some of what you say. If somebody tune into this video now and all they caught was that, they're going to go away saying, SoFlo TV over there, I took up for Richie Stevens and is actually telling him how to get away with this or how to make himself look good. I'm actually telling you that as an attorney, if that was my client, what I would have done. And I clearly said, it couldn't be an attorney, you know, because you see, sometimes as an attorney, you know that this person is guilty. But you have to find ways to work them out of it, even though all evidence points to them. And that is what a good attorney does. They free their clients. I just saw it go. See so don't mix me, please. We're not talking up for nobody. I have no dog in this fight. I don't know none of them in person. And I'm getting the information from sourcing it from credible sources and then using the letter to compile and have a conversation. See? All right. Yo, Soflo, you think a mad cobra did touch Tanya Stevens? Huh? Jesus Christ. Why did I say two name on people? Name off my head. 
Look at you over here trying to start drama and start stuff. Why are you speculating? She already said she's not going to say anything. Because speculating is what we all do. If you and your brethren them sit on a talk and I consider you all my brethren, we are going to say all kind of something though. Because we're not talking to the world. We're talking to us. Unfortunately for us, <laughs> YouTube is the world. So you say something for you. So, and it gone out there. So it's not like we at the dinner table or you're on my backyard. Uh, we are on to talk and it's a different thing going on. It's a different thing going on. So no mix me with the mad cabra something. You know, say so, um a man shut up mad cabra and whenever hear nothing more about that. Mm, the man they're in the streets in the streets. So the, the man they get gunshot, they don't even go to police. They just say, mm, it's gonna heal and I'll take it from here. No, not doing anything to anybody. Lord forgive him. Next thing I hear, people disappear. I mean, I said nothing. Cobra career dead though. Is Cobra's career dead? Girl flakes. Time to have sex. Look how long you have the road, boy. You sweat, girl flakes. And the DJ used to. <laughs> There's a clock ticking on the wall. Seven days a week. I need your body next to mine. Spread your legs. Spit up, yeah. Like a boat to a screw. Ooh, I do you. <laughs> so many. Oi. Ah, that time they danced it nice. Girl flicks. Uh, time to up. Uh, anytime them put that on. Cabra career can then my you. Cabra can tour the world with a one song that's still. One song. Unless him caught up doing other things and can't move. But him, him, him carrying a dead man. Him dead are doing things the same way. Uh, she said the person who did that, them career, dead. Dead, dead, dead. And she's not calling no name to go revive them career. Because at this point, what's it going to be? It's, all, it's only going to be, you raped me. No, I didn't. What are you talking about? You're delusional. You did drunk that day then. No, remember, you raped me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. All right, now put out a hot song. The girls can have Stephen semi rape her and, and next thing you know, don't play to come out tight and all these things. So that's what she's talking about. She's, ah, whoever it is, a career is dead. You know, the power life support, it's not resting, it's dead. When things dead, we bury it. So she says she's not reviving that person's career. So she'll go, <laughs> I saw. I wonder that Flex song has some interesting lyrics to Yo, listen to me. There's a song, and I, I, please somebody, because when me I grew up, you know, me used to, I used to be the little kid that was like, go up on the dining table and climb up on the center table and wind my little self and my mother used to show me off and she telling people to uh, come visit, say, watch him, watch him, bust a dance for them, baby, and get up and bust my little dance and thing. I remember this one song. Grown people was playing the song. Walk with me. Certain things are embedded in our culture. We don't even know it. I remember this one song. Two-year-old, me love me, two-year-old. I don't remember that song there. Somebody talk to me, because I'm sure I can't be alone. Of course, because it's can't be alone, remember that song there. Two-year-old, me love me, two-year-old. I don't remember that. <laughs> and we was there thinking it was grown people saying they love us as children. But the song was a sexual song. And which part him get away with that? Figure put that in there. That song, the past studio engineer, it passed the security on the compound, it passed it, and the whole of them make him put that lyrics in that song. Nobody said, oh, brother, match that up. No, don't do that. It sound a way. Me, and I've been trying to find the song and I can't find the song. Because maybe he was talking about his daughter and his daughter was two at the time. And maybe because I was so young and this was my parents' music, me never really understand. But as an adult, it came back in my mind and I'm trying to find the song and I can't find it. So, so, the eagle light, pom pom, the eagle light, pom pom. Titan go, the old Titan go, the eagle Yo, blood fire. No, I can't see him. I don't see him, son. Two year old, wrong. 
Ta tame. Ta tame is, is a rum. A rum that has been aged for two years. Then they have a rum named two year old. Back then. Or is a horse. A race horse named two year old. His, I remember my daughter was two months old. Oh no. No. We had to dig up some things. It's a horse. Yeah, man, when I sang, but that, that part of the song, they do the eagle eye, boom, boom, the eagle eye, boom, boom. Have you? What? Walk out in the video like that. I remember when Mr. Um, Mr. Lexus. Walk up in the video from your cute. Yeah. Walk up in the video from your. <laughs> 90s was the best, yes. 90s was the best. Back then, he was talking about racehorse. Ancestors pick me. Ancestors pick me. Thank you for clarifying, but I'm going to go look that up. If he was really and I, if I Admiral Bailey do that tune that two year old, me love me two year old, you better be talking about horse. But me have a look it up. Me have a look it up. Cause me not remember nothing about no heart. King Biggs. <laughs> King Biggs said the same thing. King Biggs said no part of that song that don't talk about no horse, fam. Laugh out loud. <laughs> It don't sound good because we're talking about the, that song that says that and then the legal life pump pump. You know, sound right. You know, sound right. A blouse and skirt should not be even in the same sentence. Yeah? I know. Not even a joke. You know, when people who don't study our culture and study dance all and come out and say stuff like Vibes Cartel kill off a lot of people with them lyrics and him first start talk gun lyrics. As soon as they say that to me, I say, um, we done talk to you. We don't talk to you. There's a line that Bean Man sang a long time ago that I don't know why, but it's still stuck in my head. Man, a bad man, wicked man, a tech man, fit toy with me black in me and mark kill and destroy. Me murder your mama, make your poopa start crying. Police boy, see me, I see me. You remember that? Mama, your son, your mother died. 21 copper shot, blow the poor soldier line. Bean is a. You remember them there? So when they're now say uh, and a beer forward that used to get to rah, bam 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 people beat up the speaker, DJ have to rewind that again. And then they're like, oh, it's the new generation with all these killing music and so ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, the, the tone was set from the generation before. This is why I say, stop being so hard on the new generation because certain things you want to see them pick up and carry in. They're only enhancing what was given or handed down to them. Nobody act like a them start nothing. We have seen both fly man, marrow, and bustle man head back from way back when. True. It's, it is so embedded in our culture that, but now it's just like, it's just more prevalent. Because more people want me. Not too many people do want to be no DJ and them thing they know when we are growing up. You, know, you couldn't fix your face for said that's what you wanted to do, you know. Yeah. But now everybody wanna be a DJ. You have like one million DJ out of the one million nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand of them are either gunman or gunman affiliated or sing about gun and gun alone and that that and so it's watered down and oversaturated and now it's just an explosion of gun talk and gun song and gun this gun bag and gun fool and gunman and gun school and be a gun 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 gun. And the climate doesn't help either. With over a thousand and thirty something murders so far for the year, and the majority of them was by gun. You know? And them hand it down. The 80s and the 90s handed that down to the new generation. So when we see skill of them for sting on an Arab like me, pull a crocodile teeth. Yeah. Anyhow. Me did a one day for George Knox. Jesus Christ. Don't do that. God is standing by. Don't, don't mix Mr. Knox in this. He might do a line of coke every now and then, but you know, him high powered attorneys get him off of those things. And he has a coke problem. That's it. But sometimes coke makes you do some things that you're not supposed to do, you know. So it could be. But George Knox's career is not dead. So I can't be him. Yeah, I'm him. Omega Brown says, big up the military. Big up the military for sure. Definitely. 
Definitely. Shout out to all my military personnel. Shout out to all my law enforcement personnel out there. We have police friends. We have soldier friends, soldier myself, all these things. So big up to them for sure, for sure. All right. That, that life, they're not for the weak and timid. Uh -huh, he does coke too. All right. <laughs> uh, what, y'all forgot? Y'all forgot? George, George Dux was coming out of a place around our one part. And um, I have daughters. I'm very disappointed in Richie. I have daughters. Yep. Yeah. Well, go on, go on the gleaner and look because your disappointment is not for you alone, my dear. I thought this is the first time I have actually really witnessed so many people leave a negative comment about a star the first time the first time usually all right my brother go to jamaica go get caught up in a things him son end up get caught up in a, the same thing don't you notice the fans them act like it didn't start with Mavado and he had nothing to do with that when it was his chain of actions that actually led to his son getting a life sentence but guess what every video and post one million likes and we stand by you and keep strong my brother and all these things so I'm thinking it was going to be the same thing for Richie. And it's not. It's not. I don't mean to mince word and talk nothing. Same thing for Cartel. Same thing for uh, uh, Bounty. Bounty with the hammer. And same thing for all of them. This is the first time. Richie needs to look at this and actually cut all the laughing out. Because we are laugh through it, but take it serious. Notice that you're the first one to get proper shellings in a degleena. All right. Put on it too, sweetie too, sweetie too, sweet. Put on it too, sweetie too. <laughs> Don't remember that song there. Me say put on it too, sweetie too, sweetie too, sweet. Put on it too, sweet. Uh, oh, wait there, wait there. When I talk about the new generation too slack. Oh, remember that song yeah? Bone flick for me, they come, y'all come skin out, yeah. How are you? How are you? I have a plum, you want pick you out the best one, they're both, yeah. I have. Ja. Ah. If we could bring back the 90s, the vibe. Speaking of that, I see um Marcus Mari, which is Bojabantan's son, which is a producer as well, big name producer himself. Marcus Mary and uh, Not Nice, which is another big big name producer, young and very accomplished producers. They're calling for the to return for dancehall to return to juggling. Now you remember when them used to have one rhythm? Let's switch up the subject. You remember when them used to have one rhythm? And when you go in at the dance, you hear about twenty artists on the one rhythm. That is what made dance hall fun. That is what made the dance feel good. Because you can hold your one joke and your one joke will last about one hour trip. You just have one joke, one hour trip. You see me? <laughs> so, King Biggs, big up yourself, fam. I just emailed you the Admiral Bailey song, LOL. <laughs> you, it, it, and I really, Admiral Bailey sing it. My God, my God! Let <laughs> All right, kick big the door. Me not gonna pull this up now, no. Me not going to pull this up now because of copyright infringement. But because <laughs> me I go see. I'm not really singing the two-year-old song. I thought about. Is he talking about the two-year-old song? Let's see. Hmm. Dog car is dead. All right, we can't access it on that phone. Then. Me access it some other time. You know what? <laughs> ja. <laughs> I was always puzzled about that song. I was always puzzled. You know, you remember um when you little and then used to tell you about Kid Ralph. I don't know if y'all know about Kid Ralph, but not, some of them grew up kind of different. Yeah, Kid Ralph, you remember Kid Ralph? When them used to say Kid Ralph, take a picnic and carry them go do do them off down a bush. So you, you have to be careful. The pepper seed rhythm. When I bad rhythm that. Um, let me see. 90s dance hall, man. 
nineties dance hall run the place. So the what what made nineties dance hall good was and and um it's sad that they actually did away with that because now it's about clicks and crews and me no one depend the rhythm with a the boy there. Cause a boy that come from over suck or a boy that from a boy the crew who me a beef with me a like a youth here and I'm bridging that and me know what, and that's what mash up it you know and that's all mash up you know me know what I work with this a producer cause him voice that youth there I mean I like that youth there and this that's what mash it up if they could have only kept the vibes going with the juggling because rhythm them used to juggle. So when them go from one rhythm to the next rhythm, you know you're going to get, it's not from one song to the next song. It's a rhythm to a next rhythm, the DJ juggling. And when the DJ juggle that rhythm and them go from the pepper seed to say whatever else, you know you're going to be on that rhythm for a while, right? And it had people like whipping them in a frenzy and it would take a while for you to get whipped into a frenzy. And you're dead there, you know, you go to the beat and then you hear your favorite song come on and you're like, Way! But by the time you go out there, they're about to keep you out there for a good long while because more songs are coming upon the same rhythm there. What? Ghost. Man, Ghost is highly underrated. Y'all know Ghost, the singer? If you be my bodyguard, I can be a long, long spell. Do no, no, no. Goes bad, you know. Nineties dancer. Baby, you can call me. And them time that them I rip off all the Yankee songs, them were bigger and sing them over and make them sound even better than how the Yankee them were singing them because it was on a dance hall rhythm and these things. The song is already popular, so we already know the words. So when time we hear them now, a beer sing out. <laughs> no, don't ghost. Did he do that cover? Yes, Ghost did that cover. If you be my bodyguard. Or who remember Little Lenny? I can be a love. Uh, would you stop love on the girls them flex? No one And I want them come copyright infringement. This is how, I mean, let me explain something to y'all. Because people are saying, so Flo, how come you don't play no music? If you incorporated music with what you did, the show would be live. If I play more than a couple of seconds of any, any of these artists' song, you see, a couple of things can happen. The artists themselves will get my stuff removed if they're vindictive. If they're not, it'll go up. Some people... Like Zojak distribution, Zojak technology, your whole video sometime. Um, you'll just you you do the show, you put up the video. I've done live with you guys before, and as the live done, um, it's a peace, have a wonderful day. Click and come off of the live, go fix like a breakfast, come back and say, Okay, now I'm gonna fix a thumbnail for this live and everything. I get a notification from YouTube, your video was removed. My whole video, an hour and a half talking, and I only played like a snippet or something there. Your video was removed for that snippet. They don't even give you the option. Take that snippet out. Sometimes they just remove the whole video if it's a copyright issue. So that's why we don't play music throughout. See, sometimes I'm cool with playing the music, promoting the culture, and if ads run on it and revenues are generated from those ads running on it, then they can send the revenue to the artists then because some of them artists are they're not doing so so good as in they're not still getting those checks like that so if i could create another avenue for them to get checks then i wouldn't mind i would actually do it because my audience would enjoy it that's the win for me right and then the checks would go to them because their material is used but no them just script on your whole video sometime or that kind of stuff so that's what goes on behind the scenes, why we don't play it. The, the, as soon as we start playing 90s dance, I'm going to be a fire emoji. Long so you see on already? It's Friday. 
It's Friday. Today's not going to be a good day at work for you. Your comment whole day. You can't wait to come off of the clock. See ya. God, three more hours left. I got, <laughs> I got three more hours left. You about to take about 50 bathroom breaks today. You about to be in the party for about 15 times today for the people them clock. All right? Body language says everything, not mouth. We need an app where we can freely do our own thing. That's the thing. No matter what app you use, fam, these people own their music. Or if them not own it as the artist, a lot of the times it's a distribution company. Or a lot of the times it's, you know, whoever owns the copyright to it. So no matter where you play it, once it hit public space, that's what these, like ASCAP, most artists are either signed to B. MI or ASCAP, their sole duty is to go around the world looking to hear any artist from their list that they represent, that artist's music being played in a public place. If you're on a club and you're playing in there, you can't play certain people stuff. If you have a restaurant and you're playing music in the background, it can't be these people music without you giving a fee. To play their music and from that fee that is collected is how the artists get paid so it's well structured it's well structured so nothing can see a way unless we can talk to the artists them themselves and say listen i'm gonna use a whole bunch of your song this morning please don't take the video down you can get all the revenues from the video i don't care we're just gonna have one of them kind of man in there right and you can tune in too if you want to it would be glorious it would be glorious but i don't know that's hard. How do the clubs manage that? The clubs have a set list that they play, and they pay a set fee to ASCAP BMI. From that, ASCAP BMI chop up the money, take their percentage for their representation, send the rest to the artist. And that's how artists get paid. It's a million dollar, billion dollar business. Yes, that is why it's important to know the business side of the music business. This is where a lot of people, them just want to be artists. You know what I'm saying? They just want to be artists, but and, and they're not inclined to the business side. That's why things like that is why I say people like Vibes Cartel, even Buju Bantan, Buju stuff is highly protected. Copyright paperwork sold up. See? I did, I forgot what I did on Buju one time. As soon as I put my video up, copyright infringement. Uh, there's content in this video that belongs to Rock Nation. And I said, would you not sign to Rock Nation? This is how I found out before it was even published to the public that Buju had signed to Rock Nation or did some kind of deal with Rock Nation. He's not signed to them as their artist. They own him or nothing. He He's very independent, but he does these deals, right, for certain projects and whatnot. And as soon as I put up a snippet, copyright infringement, your video is at risk of being taken down. Please correct this, this, that, and the other. Lucky then give me a chance to correct it that time. So I put it back in the editor and I chopped out that piece. They give you an option. You could silence it. So that, so if you are watching any of my older videos and you see like a chunk of it, just go bare silence. It's because of that. I choose to silence it or chop it out. Or that kind of stuff. Yeah, man. Ghosts always cover other people's songs. Always. And uh, there wasn't nothing wrong with that. We actually liked hearing our own. And that's about as much as I could play. And probably play too much already. There's a little story about life. Everybody that lives will surely die. A lot of people ask the questions why. You know what? I want to be the one to tell you how it's got to be. You got to live and learn. I'm kind of with drunk or nothing. They got to live and learn. And you whine for every song. I when them I talk about, um, all right, so we're going to slow the session down now. Uh, we are getting to some prayers. We are getting to some Lucian. Now you're here. Lord, give me strength. You're still a wine. 
Waste another day. You're in the like, oh, I'm gonna get no caffeine up tonight. Carry a long life's road. Carry my heavy load. Give me strength, oh Jack, to carry on. Yeah, man. Oh my. You know, you, you know, they always say, so flow, you take the people and song turn, turn revival music, <laughs> church song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alpha. No, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. It, uh, Omega Brown says, uh, amaze me how God comes in mid a fire. Hello. <laughs> because we are godly people. We were a godly people. Dance never used to be like how it is now. Right now, when you're going to the dance, you have to fight from the beginning to the end. Unless you can go VIP or go stand up in a corner. You're going to have to be elbowing people out of your way and these kind of things. Because everybody that found this, yeah. And the new dance, them. Y'all ain't seen the new dances, right? Everybody that found this. That, the, even the way they dance now is just like, what I mean is new generation thing. So I'm expected to be... Uh, Meticulously scrutinizing, big up to Tanta Blocks, meticulously scrutinizing them and saying that why them think they look like more like fighting than dancing. See, they lost me at the daggering phase. They lost me at the daggering phase. And I said, I said, I said, I said, I said. They, them lost me right there, so. But when it got like that now, I dance off. I dance off. But dance used to be like set the dance. Big up to Squingy. Dance used to be like set the dance. There's actually something called set the dance. Where you go into the dance and all you hear. Right now we're in early juggling hours, you know, come on in, come on in and these kind of things and buy up the bar and make sure you find your somebody in after night and something and then Lego two. Um, righteous song and two good song and setting the dance. That mean God please cover this venue. No make no gunman come in and come shoot it up. We are in here to have a good time. Leave no guns outside. Leave the violence outside. Tonight we're going to have fun. The DJ actually used to uh, say that. See? And then he will play some godly song and then he'll play some older reggae. And this is where the juggling start now. Early hours juggling, early days juggling. So we had an appreciation for the music. That is why young people used to be able to sing all the older songs from the generation before them. Because we paid homage in the dance hall. So you're blessing the dance, first of all, involving God. And then paying homage to those giants whose shoulders we stand on. These things have been stripped out of our... You don't know, understand how deep this is enough. These things have been stripped out of our culture. So when you're going to dance now, a gunshot from beginning. From the dance, start. A gunshot. Skin out your pussy right there, girl. Gunshot in a boy's face and you're like, okay, at some point, I'm going to slow this down. And there's no slow down. It does take off faster, faster, faster. And boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> My cousin made me laugh. Uh, George Christopher, George Plush Creations, I appreciate you greatly. Thank you. And all the other people who gave a donation, I'm sorry I didn't say thank you. I thank you all. I appreciate you greatly. Because I said, yeah, man, um, brother, things change. Oh, I remember one time I flew into Jamaica and he said, Mrs. Then, but then I play them something there for a son because because of laugh. He said, a joke, yeah, man. In that morning, y'all go hear um, one Christian song and then, I wedi, 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 wedi. <laughs> From that God, I'll be your dancer on whole Sunday. I mean, I said, rotted. Yeah, man. Different times. Different times. So dance used to be different back then. And then they had a section called the slow it down section. So people dance and dance and as the dance is building and we go from the 80s to the 90s into the 2000s and, you know, and the dance are built to your current stuff. Now the dance floor. Pop, Kai, everybody can relate because what's current is current. This is what's chopping. And then them slow that back down. When them start slow it down, you know, so the end of the dance is coming. The DJ used to actually say, any boy can't get no girl in here tonight. And then him real off her. Enough of them can't get no mm -mm tonight. Do, 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 do. And enough of them going to the do, 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 do. And you want to see me, I'm bringing them power there and I say, you don't get nobody, you don't get nobody, boy. We don't look good enough tonight. I won't leave a girl in here and I'll get nothing. 
What's all for not tonight? I thought we were a little youth, you know, partying with big people, but we understood because it was the culture. See? The culture was being passed down to us. When you hear them slow songs that start coming, you all talk about your berries, ham and them. What one dance can do? And the DJ said, we lot up again. You already know. Go find a girl. What one dance can do? Yo, I see some man in there turn up still in a year song where I play. Go find a girl. Real and come again, DJ, and let it go. When you hear what one dance can do, you see some man rub and scrub and scrub and rub. And you want to turn up over there with your one hot Heineken. Looking lonely. <laughs> so, yeah. so you have to go talk to a cat, you have to go say something. You understand? You have to go see if you can get a one dance. Even if you can't do anything more with her or to her, you just don't want to be left out. So man and woman in the dance used to be promoted. Dance with a woman. Hold her. Them kind of thing. That depends on how much you want your hold her. Sometimes you want your rub her down. Sometimes you want you know, to carry her home. Who knows? But them things that was promoted. Now you're going on the dance to you, Emma. That new dance. A beer elbow fling, you know? And the girl them can't even get close to them. Because him and him bridging them alone in a big circle of fling elbow. Girl, see a duck on. She don't know. It's like uh, the jump rope something there. She, um, double dutch and she don't know. Like when she's gonna get in and if she can come in or not, and it, you know, <laughs> the thing changed. <laughs> it changed completely. <laughs> I don't know what part of that is dancing, but it's considered a dance move. Yeah. So big up to the whole of them, man. New generation, old generation. We need to set our thing back. In my area, I'm living in Florida right now. I'm actually looking for a venue. But you know, Corona, Guana, all these things, but that's not an excuse. Come and see people, I throw them big events. Me, I look for a venue, and if I find a venue and I put the event on, Moami Dance got just like that. You have to be a DJ who can set it, put God in it, cover the venue, pay homage to the ones before, come right up, juggle from 80s, 90s, right into the current, and then slow down the dance again and go into your your Beres Hammond and your Coco Teas and your, you know, um, Tenasa and your Little Kochi and your go back in a them there and go back in a uh, Prince Emmanuel, Dennis Brown and these kind of things. Go back in there so and wind the dance all the way down. And guess what? When the dance is ending, is exactly how I'm going to end this video today, is when you would hear your Luciano. Sweep over my soul. The dance are end. And we're sending you out Godspeed. Just so. You know, do that again. Right now, you left dance, you want to thump somebody in them yard. Because you, you revved up. You, you want to go juke a banana tree and thump a girl in her yard. Madness. <laughs> Bless up and big up for yourself, people. We end it right here this morning. Have a wonderful weekend. All right. Keep the vibes positive. Up, up, up. Wake up. All right, wake up, rise up, wise up, and rise up. That was it. I'll catch you on the next video. Stay tuned and don't forget to go check out the My Wife Better Than Yours. It's her birthday edition. It was a private photo shoot with hubby, which is I, and got to choose some outfits and life below. Um, them kind of something there. All right, big up for yourself. I'm out. Peace. Peace, Papa. Come tell them peace. Come tell them peace, huh? Yo. Kai. The man go, peace. You don't know what the panim hand feel like. I'm out. Peace.